My name is Agneta Lando and I was chairman of the MACP from 1988 to 1991 and later president of IFONT between 2000 and 2004. On July the 4th to the 8th, 2016, the MACP will host the 11th IFONT conference in Glasgow, UK. It will be a fabulous occasion and all who participate can gain something that will influence, develop, question and ultimately take their work onto another level. Not only will it benefit you, but also the patients who are in your care, because whether the emphasis of your work is within clinical, educational or research settings, or a combination of these, the common ground of focus of your work is the welfare of the patient. Now this is a big statement and it may some, sound a little bit arrogant, so let me give you some background. The International Federation of Orthopaedic Manipulative Physical Therapists held its first meeting in 1974 in Montreal, and amongst those attending were Stanley Paris, Gregory Greve, Jeffrey Maitland, Freddie Kaltenborn, David Lamb and Brian Edwards. These were some of the leading musculoskeletal physiotherapists who shaped our clinical practice and whose work still holds contemporary importance. They perceived a need for an international forum specifically dedicated to musculoskeletal management of orthopaedic presentations. The aim of the iPhone conference then and now is to provide a stage for the exchange of expertise and information to set standards, academic and clinical, in the field of manipulative musculoskeletal physiotherapy and give opportunity for networking between colleagues from all over the world. During the ensuing years, IFONT has had an increasingly crucial role in the development of post-registration and postgraduate study programs in musculoskeletal physiotherapy internationally. It has influenced the professional, professional development of physiotherapy as a whole by leading the way in clinical specialization, which of course goes hand in hand with clinical and basic research. IFONT was the first clinical subgroup of the World Confederation of Physical Therapy and the first international specialist physiotherapy organization to set educational, clinical and research standards which have to be met in order for a group to become a member organisation. Now the MACP was a founder member of IFONT and was the first clinical interest group in the UK to develop a post-registration clinical education and research programme within physiotherapy. From 1992, crucially, all physiotherapy education was based in universities in the UK. And so academic departments of physiotherapy were developed and in the same year, the first two MSc courses in musculoskeletal physiotherapy set up through collaboration between the universities and the MACP and leading to MACP membership were run. So now 24 years later, the MACP has, as part of its membership, a significant number of MSc and PhD students, postdoctorates, and a smattering of professors, furthering the knowledge base and answering some of the clinical questions that our clinicians pose on a daily basis. So it's with this background that the MACP has been able to put together a conference programme for iPhone 2016 which is unparalleled in its contents. The speakers will cover something, relevant, something of relevance to all who attend. The mix of clinical and basic research presentation will build the evidence-based platform for all within the musculoskeletal field. To have the opportunity to listen, and perhaps more importantly, to debate with the people spearheading the development of our field of practice, should not be missed. Furthermore, the value of networking and social interaction can't be emphasized enough. Can 
any musculoskeletal physiotherapist really justify not attending, knowing that participation in this event can take their work to another level? We should attend for the sake of our patients and for the furthering of our profession. At a time when the population demographics around the world is such that the majority, a majority of people will soon be over 60 years of age and more than ever our skills in musculoskeletal management is crucial for the quality of life of so many. There's never been a more important time to be an expert in our field of practice. So let us all take this opportunity to develop our skills, increase our understanding and formulate the questions for the future. The IFOND conference takes place every four years. The last time the MACP hosted it was in 1988. It may be another 28 years before we have the privilege again. So make the most of this opportunity. I really look forward to seeing you there. You're all very welcome.